Why, good evening to you, Romeo. How are you? Well, I should hope. Oh, Is good news. Tell me know. of this news. Activate. Enhance. Fire. Hmm. I really like a two-drop. That'll do. Tell me of this news. I made it to rank eight in Hearthstone. Uh, yeah, I was not going to say Stone of the Hearth. No, no, no. But that's good to hear. Uh, is this in wild or in uh, rotation? I'm doing okay. Any day where I uh, manage to get out of work, that's fun. Well, <laughs> managed to live through the workday. I suppose I should phrase it better. It's not as though I didn't go to work. Ah, wild. Ah, uh, wilds are the glorious beast. Tell me, are they still playing Giants Hunter? Substitution. Is Wild Hunter still all the rage? Let's see, I can never make it to rank 8 in standard without pulling out my wallet. And don't do that, not for Hearthstone. Okay, and now he'll ram two puppets in. Mm -hmm. Seeing as his board's gonna be weak for a while, we might as well temple. No need to do much Evo and Now, next turn, I'm not sure what I play, but it's probably tea time. Let's see, I don't think so. I haven't really encountered any hunters at all. Really? What? God, I love that card. I think it's so funny. I know it's gonna be a pain in my butt. I, I'm well aware of that. That's not really what <laughs> my problem, actually. Alright. Anyway, let's see. Uh what do you think got rid of the hunters? That's very odd to me. I'm just confused because normally I would see uh, a lot of what is it? Uh Sea Queen? Something like that. King's Bane. Huh, ah, nice. Okay, well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, so we'll continue to do our business. Let's see. Uh, alright, hold on a second. I'll get, I'll get the name of it down. Uh, it's a five cost card. It's a five five. It makes cards in your hand cost five. If you, uh, that's hilarious. Uh, all right, let's see. Seven, five goes to three. Nah. Hilarious. Uh, something like Emerald Sea Queen or something like that. And then you just play all the giants. Uh, its big surge just came about when you played, like, on turn, let's say, six or so, giant... Or sorry, the Sea Queen, and then you play down like a thousand you can giants. Get this one. Substitution! Naga Sea Queen, there we go. You got me. So, what happened to that deck? I know it was pretty popular for a while. I also know it was very powerful. I am the perfect puppet. Now the fight begins. Does it? Break them, Victoria. You can get this one. You can get this one. Hilarious. Let's see. Okay. Let's get this down. Now the question is, I could always just ram these in. Is there a reason not to do that? Mm. 
we know she catches up on value because she can kill anything else. No. Let's see. <coughs> now we've got our lions up, so that's good. And because I've spent so little of anything, I'm pretty much down to do whatever I want. I also have a really high life total. Which makes it hard to do more than they Vengeful Puppeteer may want. They matter not. Okay. Anything else? I'm assuming he just goes full horse. You can get this one. Or maybe he tries to double charm me. Okay. Now then. So, how do we want to play this? Peace Weaver would make us at three. But I don't have a two play. That obviously needs to die. Cudgel exists but does not matter. How Blindy is not that great. This is a card. I suppose it'll work. This holy Hardly ideal, but it will work. Okay. So. Hitting me with, what? Three puppets would be... 3, 6, 9. Plus 3 is 12. 13 at most. And that's if... All the puppets went in. And next turn I can summon. Yeah. You're done for. Probably should have evoed earlier, really, but. Alright, let's see what happens. There should be no way to stop me. You've got two play points left. So clearly you kill this. If you're looking for value, you trade. If you're looking to clear it, you hit. You can get this one. And value it is. The true piece. Then you can't stop me. You I'm glad I went one. with my plan. Yeah, burn yourself out, dog. Burn it out. This garden blossoms for eternity. No need to push the point. No need to be rude. Now, uh, so. Sorry, back to you. I've only seen the card like once and it was between ranks 16 and 18. That's really surprising. All I've seen are mainly control decks after rank 10. Well, that's because suffering. it's really hard to win against eight giants. Is there a... Huh, I just find it very surprising that Giants Hunter left uh, Wild because that was an incredibly powerful deck considering it's really hard to deal with a bunch of 8-8s on turn like 5 or 6. There is some randomness to it, but in general, it's fairly reliable. I find that very strange. I mean, it's entirely possible the meta has shifted in Wild, and I don't know about it, but the pulse that I've gotten from it has not been of that variety. Then again, you know, there's always more to learn. Let's see. Let's get this ticking. Because that'll be useful on turn three without needing to pay for it. We'll play Carapace unless we get another choice. We did not. That means that we'll have a pretty nice board come turn four. Which is nice. Hello, Andralfus. Let's see. Definitely Peace Weaver. This holy 
Family fragment. Turn four will be a bit awkward, but we'll make it work. Let's see. I did match up against a shaman that plays all those big overload minions and sea giants and lost to it because sheer stats just killed me. Okay, uh, what is your deck? Is it just the uh, tempo secret that you were looking at or uh, talking about uh, yesterday? Okay, we'll swing face because no matter what, she can get rid of my card. There's no real reason to uh, use this guy to trade. Okay. We're not playing Cudgel because I'm going to need it next turn. I am of the firm opinion that's true. Did you it? Leave her with as few options You're as possible. Mean. It's Aggro Pally. Ah, uh, you, you have joined the dark side. Uh, I consider that the dark... Well, actually, Show let's be fair. Day. The actual dark side the is uh, Q-Block, I believe. Also, we're going to die. There's no doubt in my mind about that. There's nothing I can do about it. I've got pure annihilation, but she's going to summon the dude like three times, and it's going to piss me off. Well, let's take care of business, shall we? Hello, Hind. There's no need to exile things right now. What we really want are stats. Decay and shot. Excellent. The void. It beckons me. So now we've got pure annihilation for her turn five play, which doesn't even deal with her board, but hey. At least there's that. Scarlet roses are so commonplace. Okay. I trust you are prepared. Neat. <coughs> Let's see. Yeah, I do love that. Although, I'd have to stick an Evo on him, I'm pretty sure. Because we couldn't get down. Or maybe it's best to put him in uh, ward mode. Or in reducing these to just get some cards up. We're actually going to play this real risky. Okay. You were done for. So... We've got Pure Annihilation to deal with Zeus the monster. And also, I've got Hind next turn, as long as I don't have to deal with Zeus. Okay. Will you now? Now what happens here? She can't summon Zeus out of the blue. She can summon him. But now it has to be in due time. Let's accelerate, shall we? The real battle begins. So now my hope is to just try and run her over. Let's see, sorry, uh, it's weird how rank 15 and 10 had a lot of aggro, and after that, control. Yeah, there are, they tend to be layers. Yeah, come on in. Yeah, come on in. Get out of my face. This holy fragment. Tempo, tempo, tempo. You're too strong. I'm sick of your combo. 
All right, yeah, although I have to say, it's really not uncommon, because if you think about it, that's how it tend to go. Because if you, let's say, face a bunch of aggro decks, you, they're pretty preeminent on ladder, then you would switch decks, right? You'd play something that would specifically beat aggro, and you would rise until you stopped encountering them. And at which point, you either switch decks, or you continue to play the same deck and you lock down, which means the aggro is below you, and the control above. Then, if you switch decks, you rise another layer. You see what I mean? It tends to congregate as though it were uh, precipitate in a solution. I know there's a better way to describe that, but I'm not sure how. Activate. Enhance. Fire. I can't help it. I, I love the idea of the ultra greed play of Temple on 2. It probably never works, but hey, there's a first time for everything. Oh my god, the double temple's almost always a bad idea. I think I'm gonna do it anyway, because it's just so fun. Join me on a musical I mean, I'm definitely playing temple here. Even though it's a bad idea? Oh, sure. Oh boy. This ought to be fun. We're either going to lose terribly or we're going to smash face. Behold the power of machinery. Stop. Okay. <clears throat> oh yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> This ought to be fun. Can you hear the sounds of joy? Stop! God! Stop! I'm gonna enjoy killing you. Alright. This first. Let's see. What's the best strategy here? Hit that. I'll let you hit me a little bit more. Your evil deeds end now. But I'll deny you your draw. You're done for. I see always. And then, and then we're gonna go have some it's fun. Broken. We might have to do some evoing. That's true. But at least we can play two of these uh, holy lion crystals next turn. Actually, we could play a ton. Come on in, baby. We got plenty. You've only got... Oh my god, the real Evo. Holy smokes. That smells like fire. That's straight up your best play. I feel really bad for you. That's more like it. You want me not to have a board, kiddo? Try again. Sometimes it works. If you get flooded with lions, then you can play two temples and get away with it. Because you just never stop playing them. I'm pretty sure if you play two temples and you don't get flooded, you auto-lose. Behold the power but, of we got flooded. Alright, play this for five. We go down up to three. Yep, definitely. I'm gonna play this one instead of the white tiger, because I think we're gonna need this later. Yeah, baby. We're already at five. That's what I'm talking about. We can't play tea time, not really. Yeah, you hit the four four. Go ahead. Try these girls out. 
Now the fight begins. Come on in, baby. You'll never make it. Yeah, that greed play. I love it. Scattering. I love that greed play. Are you kidding me? My role here is complete. Alright, let's see. Now, he's almost always got that prime artifact. Do I care? Not really. Next turn, we can play double Holy Lion and just hit him in the face forever. Hey, Squidaria. Awaken. And you've got one? Yep. Awaken. Oh! Ultimate justice. Wow. Look at him go. People these days. Let's see. If I accelerate you, I can already play three of them. I'm not sure what the point to doing that is. Yeah, I might as well. The real battle begins. I can't necessarily say this isn't a better idea, so. I've got you at 10. At 9, I'm not sure you can kill me even with 3 damage to an open shot here. You haven't killed enough artifacts nearly to make anything amazing. And you could have Acceleratium into a million things, but I still don't think that would matter. I don't think it matters. Because you can't accelerate up to 10 over 9. And next turn, I've only got to get one shot through you. And you can't stop everything. Yeah, I'm afraid not. My uh, my start was just out of this world. We drew, I think, five Holy Lion cards. It's pretty hard to beat that. Neat. Neat. Okay. Okay. Go for it. Makes no difference to me. <coughs> you could have done that neater, I think, but that's okay. Yeah, you definitely could have done that neater. Let's say one to everybody, right? Reducing the first guy to one, second guy to five, third guy goes to three. Smack third guy with 2-5 goes to 1. Or 2, yeah, 2-5. Two uh, then you use puppets to clear off the 1 health dudes. And you use dimension cut and uh, the 1-1 one one to clear off this. Interesting. 